What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. Today we are in Funchal and my name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. I almost forgot to say that. Uh, today we are talking about this man behind me, Juan Gonçalves Zarco, while eating something tasty at Zarco's restaurant in San Gonzalo. Without any further ado, let's uh, kick off the vlog. Yeah. We've had this continuous idea on this vlog to do what I like to call the Madeiran local bus adventure. So these are small little itineraries that you can do in Madeira by local bus, uh, be it a hike, be it uh, an attraction or something like that. This was the idea. So we've done two hiking videos before in the past and this was an idea that I had once kind of up my sleeve just waiting for the time that I needed to film a vlog to do it. And yeah, that day has arrived. So this idea is officially coming out of the Gaveta and we are here at the 38 yes. bus, right? That is the Cancela bus. So I've had to do a little bit of research over here with the help of some local friends. We've arrived at the right bus stop. I will write something up for you guys and link it below. Let's catch a bus. Welcome to an episode of Madeiran Local Bus Adventures. Let's go. One ninety-five each. Uh, there's five of us, so it's about ten bucks to get there. Right? We chose the thirty-eight bus because the thirty-eight bus looked like it was the only bus that was going after like five o'clock. There's a thirty-seven bus as well. So, I mean, I don't know. There's a whole lot of things I want to help you with here, like where to catch the bus and all that kind of stuff. So I'll write up a blog about it. All right. Uh, but we are specifically going for around sunset time at eight o'clock, so we can get a nice view. Nice sunset, it's a bit cloudy, not sure how well that's gonna work, but we're all excited. We've already had a couple punches, and um, yeah, so that's it. This is some good old fashioned, good old fashioned bus rally. These guys are the best drivers in the world. I joke around about it. Check out you, check out you. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, we have arrived. We're in uh, San Gonzalo and it's only 7.15 and the sunset is at 8. Mission accomplished, no plan B needed. Happy days. This is the restaurant, I believe. So come with me, let me show you. Uh, excited, haven't been, there, haven't been here before, just so you know. This is all new. This is in fact the third poncho of the day, but we are on a bus, so uh, we don't need to worry about these things. Sunset is amazing, got this like beautiful uh, palace in front of me, uh, my friends around me. Uh, let's all do a ching ching for this one. And uh, we're gonna get into Zarko's restaurant and we're gonna eat some food and we're gonna talk about Zarko. It's gonna be cool, we're all gonna have a lot of fun. Ching ching everybody. Apparently here it's Espetada, so we're going full on Espetada. O que é que vocês têm de Espetada? Quais são os cortes? Temos Espetada com osso, sem osso. Então vais fazer dois com osso e um mais limpinho, sem osso, né? sem, sem gordura e tal. Uh, mil frito salada. Mil frito salada. Do you want like chips or uh, potatoes or rice or anything uh, like that? Sweet potato. Uh, tem batata doce? You want some sweet potato? João Gonçalves Arc was the head honcho over here, right? He was the one who discovered Porto Santo, then eventually saw Madeira. But there's a lot more to him than just these stories. And it's actually been a while since I've been reading. I've been wanting to read more because I love the history and all that stuff. And I've read more in the past, but on the beach and things like that. But anyway, uh, I started reading again for this vlog and uh, João Gonçalves Arc was much more than just the guy who saw Porto Santo and saw Madeira. You know, his story like, begins before with Henry the Navigator and all this kind of stuff. And if you want to learn more about Juan Gonçalves Arco, I'll put the links in the description to some of the articles that I found which are really interesting. And also you need to do a tour with Lisa 
which we'll do that later from free walking tours from Chao. She's amazing at all that kind of stuff. But basically, Joao Gonçalves Zarco led the caravels, which are the types of boats uh, that we were building at the time, the Portuguese, that recognized the island of Porto Santo in 1418 to 1419. And afterwards, the islands of Madeira to 1490 to 1420. He founded the city of Camara de Lobos and he was granted afterwards hereditary leader or capitania, as we say in Portuguese, uh, of half of the island of Madeira, which was kind of done diagonally. But anyway, he, he did that and uh, being the first captain major of Funchal, uh, along with Tristão Vaz Trasheira and uh, Bartolomeu Parastrello from Porto Santo. So uh, that's the, the very basic intro as to who is uh, João Gonçalves Zarco. We're going to enjoy a espetada and we're going to give you a little, more, a little bit more knowledge, uh, some interesting things that I've learned. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the, v the vlog. <laughs> the vlog. The vlog, vlog. Le vlog. Le vlog. amazing so what I found here which was quite interesting that was apparently Juan Gonçalves Zarco was possibly Jewish what? right yeah 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 and there's a whole lot of story here about the families he was in like from Santarang and Lisbon and I don't know yeah. what this is all according to Wikipedia by the way as early or as late should I say as the 1980s and the 1990s so there was uh, some uh, American guy, right? Some US medical doctor. I don't know what other kind of doctor he'd be, but anyway, uh, he's uh, Manuel Al da Silva, which is a very uh, Portuguese name for the 1980s and 1990s, Manuel da Silva. There's probably like a million of you guys. Manuel da Silva reckons that he's actually wrote two books about this, that Christopher Columbus was actually linked to Zarco which means that Christopher Columbus was maybe Portuguese. And you know, according to Silva, uh, he studied uh, various amounts of documents and things, kind of like what Tanya over here does when she's researching our histories. And it finds out that because of certain love affairs, that uh, perhaps Christopher Columbus is actually related, right, to João Gonçalves Zarco, which means, yes, that Christopher Columbus was probably Portuguese. Um, so I'm sorry to all the Italians out there who are like probably like fuming mad. Uh, oh yes, you know, you guys make a good, a good bowl of pasta and a good race car. But uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, colonizing the world, the Portuguese uh, were the ones that got the job done. I'm gonna enjoy my espetada, right? Hey, did you guys know about this? Yeah, cheers. Yeah, well, it's potato. Right, cheers. This is passion fruit pudding. Mm. Very good passion fruit pudding at that. Which is also very typical of a Madeiran uh, dessert. So if you are looking for typical food, then this is it. Anyway, I wanted to tell you one last story of João Gonçalves Zarco. Something that I've learned in the last few hours because I haven't been reading as much. Maybe I need to be reading more. Uh, I wanted to bring out another book, which is the history of Funchal, which I'll bring out in another video. And we're gonna mention now, actually next week, we are going to be doing Muito Obrigado. Next week, we're going to be doing a Q&A live video. So that's gonna be scheduled. Uh, for whenever the, with the week after this one comes out. Also like and subscribe to the channel and comment on what you want to know about Madeira, what you want to speak about in Madeira, what you want us to show you in Madeira. And again, I want to get back to João Gonçalves Zarco on the last kind of little piece of information about all of this. João Gonçalves Zarco had a really big kind of vision. You know, people think and they say, and it's not that they think, but people say that he found Porto Santo, then he found Madeira, and this is yeah. like, this is the, the, the emphasis of the story. But actually, he was already 
in Africa and you already had visions of Africa and you was already looking at expansion in Portugal and it's because of him that the other Portuguese explorers went and found Asia for instance uh, which was a massive success in the Portuguese Empire so he's one of the first kind of feishkas you know one of the first sparks in Portuguese exploration uh, which then eventually got to this world domination of Portugal at least half of it right because it was Portugal and Spain all started at João Gonçalves Zarco uh, and it started here in Madeira we're gonna finish off our passion fruit pudding our coffee our wine and then we're gonna have a look at the timetable to see if in fact the bus is coming down and uh, I don't think so. you don't think so no. yeah I think we should walk down. You think you should, we what? should walk down? Are you yeah. sure? No. It's I mean, it's Saturday. <laughs> the it's, bus is out Do you have any idea where we are? Yeah, I Have know. you seen the view? <laughs> Just one hour. We can do it. Cut. Ten minutes. We have. Cut. No. Let's hit the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who are you? you What's happening here? You know the whole world is going to see this. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was real fun coming out here to Zarko's amazing view, amazing food. Super, super cool. Remember, if you're coming out to Madeira, check out Hit The Road Madeira Tours, right? We run the best tour company in the world, which happens to be in Madeira. And you want to book early because we sell out fast. Also, we have a Patreon account where we have certain services to you guys, which include uh, tour planning, vacation planning, and even moving to Madeira planning. All of this is in the information below. Make sure to join us for the live next week, somewhere in Madeira, Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's gonna be awesome. Andrea, let's hit the road. Let's hit the road.